David Sancho was no stranger to a life of privilege. Born on June 11, 1994, he was the son of two famous Spanish actors, Rulfo and Silvia Broncaro. With a family background steeped in the entertainment industry, David grew up amidst the glitz and glamour, enjoying a comfortable lifestyle that only the rich and famous could afford. But while his parents basked in the spotlight, David chose a different path. Instead of pursuing a career and acting like his parents, he decided to follow his own passion, culinary arts. With a love for food, he dove headfirst into the world of cooking, even starting his own YouTube channel, where he shared his culinary creations with his modest following. Despite his family's fame, David's YouTube channel never took off as expected, but that didn't stop him from living a life of luxury. With his social media accounts showcasing his extravagant travels, it was clear that he had access to money and a taste for the finer things in life. One place that held a special significance for David was the beautiful island of Koh Pangan. Known for its pristine beaches and vibrant nightlife, the island was a paradise for partygoers and adventure seekers alike. It was also famous for its monthly full moon party, attracting tourists from all over the world. David decided to invite his boyfriend, Edwin, to Koh Pangan for a much needed vacation. He saw it as an opportunity to escape their busy schedules and spend quality time together in this picturesque setting. So, on August 1, 2023, David eagerly awaited Edwin's arrival at the airport. As Edwin stepped off the plane, David greeted him with open arms, ready to embark on a romantic getaway. The couple made their way to Had Salad Villa Resort, where they had booked a private bungalow to serve as their home away from home. Edwin, an accomplished plastic surgeon hailing from Santa Cruz de Lisa in the Cordoba region of northern Colombia, had dedicated himself to his studies and pursued a successful career in plastic surgery. Over the years, he had gained recognition and respect within the medical community. His expertise had led him to become a member of the Colombian Society of Aesthetic and Reconstructive Plastic Surgery, an internationally recognized institution. With over 35,000 followers on his personal and business Instagram profiles, he was well known both locally and internationally in the plastic surgery industry. Despite their age difference, Edwin and David's connection was undeniable. Their frequent messaging had eventually blossomed into a romantic relationship filled with love and intimacy. As their relationship progressed, Edwin's feelings for David deepened, and he began envisioning a committed life with him outside of Colombia. According to a close friend, Edwin aspired to open two clinics in Spain, one in Barcelona and another in Madrid, where he and David would reside. This dream of building a life together further cemented their bond. Edwin, an avid traveler, seized every opportunity to explore the world. Thanks to his healthy bank account, he frequently embarked on holiday adventures, seeking new experiences and cultures. These trips also served as a chance for Edwin to secretly meet up with David. Thailand, known for its breathtaking landscapes, vibrant nightlife, and delicious food, was one of their favorite destinations. On August 1, 2023, Edwin arrived on the island of Koh Pangan to join David, who had arrived the day before. David invited Edwin to celebrate one of the famous full moon parties that the island was renowned for. Little did they know that their idyllic vacation would take a dark and tragic turn, forever tarnishing the paradise they had sought. As the days unfolded, Edwin's lack of communication with his family back in Colombia caused concern. Edwin's sister reached out to him on Instagram, urging him to report her brother as missing to the authorities. Following her advice, David reluctantly made his way down to the police station, unaware of the grim discoveries taking place on the island. Back at the station, the officer's suspicions were aroused by the scratches and cuts on David's body. They made the decision to detain him for further questioning leading to his confession of the gruesome murder. David claimed that the murder was an act of self-defense during a violent altercation with Edwin in their bungalow. While the investigation into the brutal crime continued, family, friends, and the public grappled with the shock and grief of losing Edwin, a talented and compassionate surgeon. As the story captured international attention, debates and discussions ensued, 
regarding Edwin's role in the events leading to his untimely demise. With the forensic evidence stacking up against him, David's defense team sought the aid of a famous lawyer, Marcus Garcia Montes, to strengthen their case. Montes was known for his expertise in high-profile cases and his ability to sway public opinion. The prosecution, armed with the forensic evidence, witness testimonies, and surveillance footage, was confident in their case against David. They believed that the evidence was consistent enough to charge David with premeditated murder, a crime that carried the death penalty in Thailand. In the meantime, Edwin's loved ones mourned his untimely death and remembered him as a talented plastic surgeon and a kind-hearted individual. They came together to pay their respects, finding solace in their shared grief. The trial loomed, and their thoughts and prayers shifted towards seeking closure and seeing justice served. The full weight of the legal system now rested on David's fate, as the trial promised to reveal the truth behind the gruesome events. After months of anticipation, the trial of David Sancho finally reached its conclusion. The courtroom was filled with tension as the judge prepared to deliver the verdict. The prosecution had presented a strong case, backed by forensic evidence, witness testimonies, and surveillance footage. David's defense team had argued self-defense and coercion, but their arguments seemed to fall short in the face of overwhelming evidence. Finally, the judge pronounced David Sancho guilty of premeditated murder. The courtroom erupted in gasps and murmurs as the gravity of the verdict sank in. The death penalty hung over David's head as a possible punishment for his heinous crime. The judge announced that the penalty phase of the trial would take place separately, allowing both the defense and prosecution to present arguments regarding the appropriate sentence. The possibility of the death penalty sparked a wave of debate and discussion. Some believed that David deserved the ultimate punishment for the brutal murder of Edwin. Others argued against the death penalty advocating for a more humane approach to justice. The case had captivated the attention of people, not only in Thailand but also in Colombia, Spain, and beyond. As the dust settled, the trial had left an indelible mark on the lives of those involved and those who followed the case. The repercussions of the verdict would ripple through the lives of David's and Edwin's families, as well as the communities they once called home. For Edwin's family, colleagues, and friends, the loss of a talented plastic surgeon was a devastating blow. They remembered Edwin as not only a skilled professional, but also a compassionate and beloved individual. The void left by his absence was a constant reminder of the tragedy that had befallen them. Across the globe, in Colombia, Spain, and Thailand, the public reaction to the case was a mix of shock, sorrow, and outrage. Edwin's family in Colombia mourned the loss of their beloved son and brother, their grief reaching across oceans. In Spain, where David hailed from, citizens expressed their disgust and disbelief at the gruesome crime that had unfolded on their doorstep. The media coverage of the case garnered attention both locally and internationally, drawing scrutiny from all corners of the globe. As the trial unfolded, debates and discussions raged on, fueling conversations about justice accountability, and the complexities of human relationships. Edwin's role in the events that led to his tragic demise remained a point of contention. Some believed that the evidence suggested a darker side to his character, while others staunchly defended his reputation as a talented and respected surgeon. While David awaited the penalty phase of the trial, tensions simmered on Koh Pangan, a once idyllic paradise forever scarred by the unimaginable crime that had unfolded within its borders. The clock ticked as his defense team and the prosecution raced against time to build their cases. The outcome of the trial and the verdict would ultimately decide David's fate. The death penalty loomed as a possible consequence for the accused, casting a veil of uncertainty and anticipation over the entire proceedings. And as the wheels of justice slowly turned, the world awaited the resolution to this appalling true crime story. The picturesque island of Koh Phangan, known for its white sandy beaches and vibrant nightlife, had become the backdrop to a harrowing tale of love, betrayal, and tragedy. The beauty and serenity of paradise 
had been forever marred by the darkness that had unfolded on its shores. The gruesome events that transpired on the tranquil island of Koh Phangan left many questioning the underlying factors that could have led to such a heinous crime. While the trial aimed to uncover the truth, some speculations and analyses emerged to shed light on the possible motivations and circumstances that contributed to this tragedy. One of the key elements in this perplexing case was the complex relationship between David Sancho and Edwin Arieta Artigo. Despite their initial romantic connection and dreams of a shared future, their relationship had evidently taken a darker turn. David's confession of murder, even if claiming self-defense, raised questions about the dynamics between the two men. Speculation emerged regarding issues of control, manipulation, and perhaps even financial disputes. Some observers speculated that Edwin, an accomplished and financially successful plastic surgeon, may have held a certain power dynamic in the relationship due to his economic resources. David's confession to providing substantial sums of money and the alleged threats of blackmail or harm suggested a potential motive related to control and manipulation. Others theorized that the strains of their relationship might have escalated during their vacation on Koh Phangan. The allure of the full moon party, combined with the intoxicating atmosphere of the island, could have fueled tensions and disputes between the couple. As the trial unfolded, David's claim of self-defense during a violent altercation indicated that their idyllic getaway had turned into a nightmarish ordeal. However, these speculations should be taken with caution, as the truth in such cases often remains deeply complex and multifaceted. The court's proceedings aimed to separate fact from speculation, relying on evidence, testimonies, and expert analysis to establish the real motivations behind Edwin's tragic demise. In the end, the trial would determine not only the fate of David Sancho, but also provide some answers to the haunting question of why such a horrific crime had occurred in the midst of paradise. The resolution to this true crime story would ultimately reveal the intricate web of emotions, motives, and circumstances that led to this shocking tragedy.